Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Well, I uh, just finished up my stream here about half hour, 45 minutes ago, and I'm uh, currently working on my blog post, um, and I'm just, I'm at, there's, I'm at a point in the blog where I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk about the raid boss event, but, uh, I, it just kind of occurred to me that, uh, I had never made a raid boss video before, but I also need to preface this by saying this is going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of a kind of a half ass video um i'll kind of explain why here as i get into it but before i continue um i'm gonna have some music here playing in the background this is gonna be alchemy uh hip cat gangster swings so let me go ahead and fire that up okay so um raid boss um it is a guild event Um, and, and, uh, the prop, the, the thing I kind of goofed up on, if I'd have known this sooner, I probably would have, uh, I would have left one sigil remaining just to show how the battle works, but unfortunately, I, I can't, and, uh, yeah, and I'm not, and I'm not gonna pay 500 gems, you know, for, 20 raid boss singles, aka attempts. I mean, when I only want one. So, um, so what I'll um, what I will go ahead and show is for for raid boss events. In fact, I I have it down here someplace. I actually set it up. Yeah. Um, for the most part, just like a lot of other events that have restrictions. This time around, uh, one one restriction for this event is all of your troops have to be from the Volpatia Kingdom. Either they have to be from Volpatia and or they have to be of the War Gear race. Like I said, I can't I can't actually get into the uh, get into the event to actually clarify. Yeah, Volpatia War Gear. I'll come back to him in a second. Well, PCO, War Gear. And another thing, um, you might have seen this here. Event Captain Kit the Sly has double magic, earns double score. Well, wish I wouldn't do this. So, for, um, for this particular event, you have to have, you have to have somebody like get the Sly here in here. He's what's called a God Slayer. He's gonna, and, and to me, he's probably one of the worst. Um, so yeah, this is a, it's a very, this is a very tedious raid boss event. Just, I mean, lots of, uh, lots of ability using, and then this guy here deals Deals uh, magic plus four damage to an enemy, boosted by green gems, which can actually bite you on the high knee because if you've got a bunch of green gems on the board, which for this particular team you will, because uh, that's all you get. Deals damage boosted by green gems. It's your opponent's turn after this, and if he has a bunch of green, if there's a bunch of green gems on the board, which again, there's going to be then your opponent's gonna get to use all those green gems against you. So there is no, there's no explode effect or anything like that. So yeah, but just to kinda, to kinda explain the basic nuts and bolts, you have to have what's called a God Slayer on your team. He's, um, he's gonna be the guy, he's gonna be guy, the guy that kills the boss and and then the boss that you will be um the boss that you will be fighting will be basically if I can get the name right, yeah. This is the guy that you're gonna be fighting in every battle in the um in the boss event. He's gonna be at the bottom, uh Tarask. He's not gonna he's gonna have kill an enemy. He's gonna insta kill somebody. He's not gonna have all the extra stuff here. Uh for that particular boss, he's gonna I think he creates three freeze gems, and that's it. 
And uh, I might be wrong, but I think he's also indestructible or something like that. Like, this is impervious. Immune to all status effects of our lycanthropy and mana, mana burn. It isn't like, um... It isn't like something like Leona's Tower. That this is what the raid boss has. He is completely invulnerable to everything. Even curse. Yeah, but anyway, this is the raid boss. Kill an enemy, create three freeze gems. Not all this. So, and this is, um... He basically he has to be killed by this guy. By our god slayer. But all the raid bosses, well, all the raid boss events, especially the recent ones, have to be done in this way. And turn the volume down. I just knew I forgot to do something before starting this video. So get the sly as he um, basically deals double spell damage and he earns a uh, double score. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't want 20 sigils. I mean, I don't want to spend 500 gems. I just, I only want one just to kind of demonstrate this. But yeah, you, you know, and again, this is a guild event, so my entire guild is gonna, or let me rephrase that, your entire guild will contribute to this. Um, I'll go up to Portal 14. Thought it was 16, but I guess I'm wrong. So yeah, but like I said, your whole guild participates. I'm in second right now. But yeah, but like I was saying, this week's uh, raid boss is a major pain in the ass. Uh, mostly due to the... Maybe I should have moved the uh, team up to the top. But no one's going to Because yeah, like I said, you, you don't want a bunch of green gems on the board, which I forgot to explain the team. Todd Greenwood, all-time classic. Deals damage, then creates three green gems, boosted by War Gear allies. So he basically creates, uh, I believe, twelve gems if my math is right. Um, Cunning Thorn. There's not the world's greatest weapon. You only want that here for the uh, for the Leaf Storm. So uh, so more green gems are falling. But again. Due to the way this guy works, you actually don't want a whole bunch of green gems because your your opponent gets a, your opponent gets a turn after you cast this, so that just gives them a bunch of green gems to use against you. You also you know something like this. She's another God Slayer. She get you know twelve mana. You know, if you one shot the uh, one shot the boss, she's gonna get 12 mana and she can do it again. So a lot of these other God Slayers, they got something good on the side. Yeah, this kind of yeah, random. This one here kind of sucks. Jumble all enemies. That that can be pretty good. Um, actually, there is one in here. I can't remember, yeah, Prince of Assault. This is like one of the best God Slayers out here. Create three elemental stars. Oh, create a brown. Pro or, now that I think about it, this is probably my uh, favorite God Slayer troop. Create three elemental stars. Why is that? 
because of my rock band team. Skull damage reduction, create a brown gem, and create three elemental stars. That God Slayer does exactly the same exact thing as the rest of my team does. So, but you, you kind of get the idea, though. So yeah, what will definitely one of the worst raid bosses. But again, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not here to complain about this week's. I'm just, you know, just kind of explaining how, uh, how this works and stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should have waited till tomorrow, but yeah, I don't, I don't have time. Anyway, But anyway, uh, that's going to do it. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'm uh, going to have to get back on my blog post. So, again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.